Right now at five, school mask mandates are coming to an end in two local states. Today, the governors of New Jersey and Delaware laid out a timeline to end a requirement that's been in place for a year and a half. Thanks so much for being with us today. I'm Tracy Davidson. And I'm Jim Rosenfield. Today's announcements will have an impact on thousands of families in our area. Let's begin tonight in New Jersey, where the mask mandate will expire Monday, March 7th. That's a month from today. After that, it will be up to local school districts to decide whether to require students and teachers to mask up. NBC 10 South Jersey Bureau reporter Sydney Long is live in Gloucester Township. Sydney, you talk with school leaders and parents today as well. Tell us what they're saying. Well, hi, Tracy and Jim. It is definitely an issue that could prove to bring more heated school board discussions and, of course, more parent voices to the forefront. As you mentioned, in just a matter of a couple of weeks, New Jersey's in-school mask mandate, well, it will expire. But different districts may choose to do different things with regard to their own masking policy. It's a huge step back to normalcy for our kids. Effective Monday, March 7th, the mask mandate for New Jersey students is being lifted. Governor Murphy crediting in part a dramatic decline in COVID case trends, including a 50% drop in New Jersey's positive cases from just one month ago. While the mandate will expire next month. We are not removing the ability of individual district leaders to maintain and enforce such a policy within their schools. We have 27 nieces and nephews. George McBride of Sicklerville says it's about time. So you feel comfortable with your nieces and nephews going back without their masks on? I do, yes. I think, I think it's pretty safe. Uh, well, the, the school board's trying to do everything they can. They're uh, filtering the schools. But not all parents and grandparents endorse the decision for students and teachers to drop face coverings that have been part of a protective layer against the spread of COVID-19 since the fall of 2020. My thoughts are they should keep the mask on because of the younger children. They need protection. I mean, the younger children are not vaccinated. At Penn Salkins Public School District, which educates nearly 6,000 students across 10 school buildings. And how it'll affect our district more than likely is uh, masks will become optional then at that point. Superintendent Ron Tarshishi anticipates there will be much discussion between New Jersey school districts and boards in the coming weeks, but says no student will be denied the right to mask up. At least the ones who wear it will actually want to wear it and wear it properly versus us trying to police an entire district of people who, you know, are laissez faire in wearing it or just don't want to wear it at all. And just a short time ago, we also heard from the superintendent of Camden Public Schools who tell us that they are glad to see COVID cases falling, but they, in fact, will not be dropping their mask mandate for their students or staff come March 7th. We did also reach out to Washington Township School District in Gloucester County, as well as Cherry Hill, but we have not yet heard back. Reporting tonight in Gloucester Township, I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.